boys and girls, this is the Wild Man here doing my review of WrestleMania 31, or as some people call it, the WrestleMania Plus Play. Well, shocking, and I'm so happy that Roman Reigns did not win. He was not ready. He did not deserve to be in the title match anyway from the get go, and creative was smart to do that and Seth Rollins with his wormy weasley ways won the championship it fit his character just well smart move on the WWE to put the title on Rollins he made Lesnar an instant baby face and that aligns him with authority so he had more different storylines with Rollins fighting people like Randy Orton and Roman Reigns and eventually rematch with Brock Lesnar maybe down the line or even with Daniel Bryan since he's the Intercontinental Champion. So we're going to run down the matches. No sense to talk about the pre-show. So the ladder match for the Intercontinental title. We all know who the participants was in the match so I ain't going to go through all that but I know one thing, Dean Ambrose took a nasty, nasty power bomb through the ladder. And that thing looked sick. But it came down to the top of the ladder, Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler. And Daniel Bryan wins in the opening match. Everybody's saying yes. Later down the road, when they interview Daniel Bryan, he get endorsed by former WWE and a Continental Champion, so that solidifies Daniel Bryan as one of the best wrestlers right now at WWE, and hopefully it'll bring back legitimacy to the IC title, which has been lacking for a long time. Whew, not the same. I'm not going any particular order. I'm just doing the matches. Um. Let's see. Undertaker and Bray Wyatt, they put on a hell of a show. Undertaker wins at the end. You got to give it to Bray Wyatt in his performance tonight. The Bella Twins versus Paige and AJ. Decent tag team match lasted longer than I think it was going to be. And the faces come out on top, shockingly enough. So that was pretty good to see. Huh. We had... Sting versus Triple H. Basically, it was a lot of bells and whistles. I'm shocked that Triple H won. I wasn't seeing that. With all, we had finally after all these damn years, DX versus the NWO. <laughs> you know, all of them old, but still, it was nice visual to see them coming down. And shocking enough, Triple H gave Sting a handshake at the end of the match, which. It's shocking for Triple H to even do. I was just totally surprised about that. He had Cena and Rusev in an excellent match. But what was so funny about the match, they were booing Cena all the way up until the end of the match when he won. And there's going to be more fiction between Lana and Rusev, as you can see, when during the match at the end. So. I was shocked how good this WrestleMania was comparing how the build was for most of these matches. And we had a surprise by The Rock and Ronda Rousey confronting Triple H and Stephanie in the middle of the show before the Undertaker match. So they was trying to set up to make it so when it was getting a little bit darker for the Undertaker's entrance, which is understandable. All in all, a much better WrestleMania than the build-up led to be. I was surprised. Everybody put on a great show. And I know people probably going to be hating on this WrestleMania, but it's really unwarranted. They did a very, very good job with this WrestleMania, so I don't see any real reason to complain. And Roman Reigns got his ass beat, so that's all I care about more than anything else. So congratulations for everybody putting on a hell of a, hell of a show tonight. Well, I think I ran down all the important matches of WrestleMania. So, and one more, Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins.
with J and J security, a decent match, and Randy Orton hit a vicious RKO out of nowhere on Seth Rollins. It was a pretty visual, but Seth Rollins got his victory at the end with the title. So, all in all, I say people that were doubting this WrestleMania, please look at it. It was a better at WrestleMania than I thought it was going to be. I enjoyed this one more than I did last year's one. So, this is Wildman Willis signing off. See you next time.